I, I think we may be in this, or probably are actually, in the most complicated and uncertain environment for policymakers, for investors, for business people in my adult lifetime. And I, I think that makes decision making extraordinarily difficult across the whole range of uh, business, investing, and, and, and policy making. We still have the opportunity, we're still in a position, unlike the Eurozone, to put in place a, a really constructive fiscal policy. And the sadness and tra I think even tragedy of it for America is we have a political sy that system simply won't do that. You could take a very conservative economist of enormous repute, and rightly enormously repute, said to me not long ago that if he and a liberal, similarly inclined, would sit down, they could do this in an afternoon mm -hmm. because they would have the willingness to compromise, and that's what we don't have. You also have to be concerned about the people who work with you and their concerns and their problems and, and what are their issues, and you have to make sure that you give credit to other people. Well, I'll tell you another one. You always want to be surrounded by people who are smarter and stronger than you are. Mm -hmm. I think Mario Draghi is an outstanding public servant. I think if I were the Europeans, I think they should every day say a little, a little thank you for the fact that they have Mario. I think what they need to find in each of these countries is they need to find a fiscal position that balances creating confidence in the markets and the business community, one hand, and leaving fiscal room for growth. And hopefully that's still doable, but the longer you go on, the harder that gets to be. And at some point, it's not just a political issue, but it may not even be substantively doable.